I'm Josh Smith with GottaBeMobile.com. This is what you learn in track school. So before you go fast, what you're going to need to do is get to the correct position. So you're either going to need to move the seat forward or you're going to need to move the seat back. This right here is not the correct position. I'm not going to have the right angle for my elbow to have the right control over the car. So as I move forward or as I pull the steering wheel towards me, I'm going to find that sweet spot where I'm able to rest my wrist right over the steering wheel. That's not quite there. Now if I move it a little bit more, then I'm going to be able to get that right angle and so now I know my wheel and everything's in the right spot. And if I put my hands on the wheel where they're supposed to be, you're gonna notice that your elbow is gonna make a nice bend. It's gonna give you the proper control. This is a good example of where your wheel should only be doing one thing at a time. You brake and then you turn. And as you exit this turn, then you can start to accelerate. And as you come completely out of this turn and you're on a long straightaway, then you can go for the gas and you can get going full speed. Our instructors at CGI did a really great job of explaining when you should be doing each of these things and that's something you need to go into track school with is knowing when to accelerate and when to brake and here you're going to brake real smooth, let off, maintain through the corner and then start to accelerate and once you get here you're going to hit that gas again and your instructor as you go through the track school and the track event should be giving you cues on when to give gas, when to give more gas, when to brake, when to maintain. They may, might do it with voice and or hand gestures and you're really gonna be able to start to pick this up and as you reach the end of your session, you're gonna start to kind of pick up on when you should be doing this and hopefully your instructor is gonna need to give you less information on when to do what. That's a little bonus of how we were taught to have a car pass us. You would point to the left and go to the right or you would point over the top of the car and go to the left and let them get past. As you watch this video, you'll see cones throughout the track as well as some other indicators, and that's gonna help you figure out the line that you wanna take for corners. And as we go through here, you'll see us come close to the edge on the, that corner there, come over to this cone, come back to this cone. That's setting up the line, and so that's a very important part of driving on the track. Another very important part is looking ahead. You don't want to be looking right over the front of your hood because you're not going to know where you need to go. This is especially evident on this turn here where if you're looking real close, you're not going to see where you need to be because your cone's actually way over here and you're not going to hit that line just right and you're going to end up with slower times and you're going to feel that you're kind of fighting the car in some ways. Once you're in the car, you'll feel the weight transfer. But as you watch right here, as this driver comes up to a curve, he's actually going to come out pretty far and then tap the brakes to bring the weight to the front of the car so that he has the grip to turn and then continue through a tight corner. And it's important to make sure that when you're turning, the weight is in the front of the car. Now, as you come through some other sharper turns, you're gonna need to wait for the car to settle before you turn in an opposite direction. Finally, don't try and fix a mistake while it's happening, whether that's coming out of a corner wrong, going into a corner wrong, or getting to brake or accelerate at the right time. Listen to your instructor, they'll help you out. The last thing you wanna do, especially while you're going at high speed, is try and fix a mistake with a big correction. Most times, if you miss the line, if you turn too early, you're gonna be better off just getting through that and making a mental note to do that corner better the next time that you come through instead of trying to fix something. Thanks to Dodge for sponsoring this and for CGI Motorsports for providing a really incredible on-track experience with very professional drivers. You can check them out in the link below.